Hey everybody, it's Jen with Two Sister Bees. Today is a big day. I have completed one month of using my budget binder, and today I will be showing you everything that I did for the month, what I spent, what I paid off, where I'm at now. I have been keeping up with my expense trackers, my debt trackers. I have my goals for June already figured out and ready to go to share with you guys as well. If you wanna see how I did for the month of May, my very first month, stick around. Okay, so I have my budget binder here and I am gonna get right into this. I do wanna start off by telling you guys a little bit about what we're gonna see in here today. I think that it is important for me to share with you that we are currently in a very unique opportunity situation. And I've never shared this before on the channel. As most of you know, we are from Florida and we Airbnb our home in Florida and we work in California. So in addition to having our house in Florida basically paid for through the guests that come in through Airbnb, my husband's employer also pays for the home that we stay in in California. So at this point in time, we do not have any regular expenses that most of you have. We are not paying a mortgage, we're not paying for our electric, our water, our Wi-Fi, our cable, nothing. It is completely already taken care of. So that is a big thing as to why I'm able to do a lot of the things that you see in my binder. The other situation that I feel like is very different from most is my husband works 80 hours a week. He actually did his time card today and he called me to tell me he clocked 84 hours this week. So believe me, there is a lot of hard work and a lot of time going into what you see us doing with our finances. And I just felt like that needed to be said up front so that it makes a little more sense to everyone watching as a viewer how this is all possible. So there's quite a few things going on that as I said, is just a very unique situation. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dig into the budget binder. And I do have So I'm gonna take out everything that I'm gonna be showing you guys today. Okay, so the first thing is my debt watch. And if you watched my last video, I had already mentioned that we paid off this Chase card. It was $4,086. That is gone, and we did that in the month of May. So that was probably the biggest thing that I did this month as far as getting rid of any kind of debt. So that was a big deal for me. The next thing that goes along with this is my break up with your debt sheets. The Wells Fargo Visa, as everybody knows, is my number one debt right now that I'm trying to pay down. And I did make a payment of $1,861. So my balance is now down to 11,000. And I have a goal set to pay 3,923 by June 17th. So that is a goal that will pay us back down to the amount that we were before I used the card again this past month for the rental car and our air line tickets home. So that is my goal with this particular debt. And I also wanna point out that this money was saved up over the month and was part of my binder. And that is here. So this is just for people who maybe are new and haven't seen this yet. This particular envelope is for this debt. So over the entire month, I save up and make that one lump payment. So that was a big one. I have also decided, and this is part of my goals, which I was gonna talk about later, but I will go ahead and mention it now since we're on these sheets. This Home Depot has $3,204 on it. One of my goals for the month of June is to pay this off. The interest is crazy, and if I can figure out a way to pay Chase off $4,000, I can figure out a way to pay this Home Depot card off as well. So that is going to be gone. And these are my other debts that are going to come later and these are going to go in order and get paid off so these videos as you watch them over time you'll start to see me chip away at all of these debts the next thing i want to show you are my expense trackers for the month of may and i'm actually very proud of myself for my amazon i only spent total 114 dollars on Amazon and one of it was a, a movie most of it was printer ink for myself and my husband which I feel like is a total necessity that's pretty much all of it and then my prime membership so uh, $114 that is a long way from where I was back in January with my Amazon spending the other thing that I decided to track was Sam's Club and again not too bad 
Most of it was food only. I don't buy any extra things at Sam's. I walk past those aisles. I do not even entertain looking at anything household or clothing, nothing like that. So I stick in the food section only and I buy exactly what I need and what's on my list and that's it. And it has been working. And as you can see, the second one is uh, just cigarettes, but I know, I know, don't even tell me. I already know what you guys are thinking. So total this, this month in Sam's Club comes out to be $948.66. Again, this number can be worked on and I, I will definitely be doing that and I'll tell you again in my goals at the end what I plan on doing with my Sam's Club spending. And the last one is my miscellaneous spending. I think I had mentioned to you guys before that I was gonna do like a want need type of thing to tell myself whether or not I could have done without these items and I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I could have done without all of these items. I didn't need any of them. I mean, I guess clothing for vacation is a is questionable, but did I really need clothes? N not really. So I could have actually done without all of this spending. So this is another reason that I'm doing this because I want to really start to test myself on not doing this. So total for miscellaneous spending for the month of May was $1,000. $408.06. Again, that can be worked on and it will be for the month of June and I'll get into that later too. I have so many things to tell you guys. So the next thing I want to show you are my cash envelopes. And this is again, my binder. This is all of this cash and all of these different areas and categories that I have set for myself. And the reason I wanted to go over this today is to kind of let everybody know how well this system is working for me and these are the reasons. So the main reason is obviously it's keeping me on track. I am able to do things like plan ahead for my, and I'm gonna go back to my number one debt. This is a big one, this is the biggest one. I don't think that if I was not using this system that I would be making these payments on this number one debt. I just don't think that I would be doing it. Um, obviously Christmas is another one that I'm really proud of because I will have I actually have money in here now that I can start using for Christmas. So I'm just really proud of the fact that I've been doing this and it does keep me on track. Um, I also wanna say that expenses don't hurt as much when they do come up. I'll use Uhtred as an example for that. His vet visits, they just aren't a big deal anymore. I, I have the cash in the envelope because I've been saving it up over time. This really gives you a feeling of accomplishment and I can see very clearly where I can make changes and maybe use funds to better serve what I'm doing in the end, what I need to do. And as you guys have seen in my past videos, I have done that quite a bit over the last couple weeks. I stopped paying the RV, the payments that I was giving them, and I've moved that over to my number one debt. I started a month ahead category. I stopped doing Ireland, and I also am moving that to the number one debt. So I have really started to see ways that I can use my money a little bit better. So that's the reason I wanted to show you the cash envelopes. Now this is my actual spending and saving. So I wanted to show you guys, this is my bank statement. It's three pages long, super proud of myself for that. I've said in the past, I used to have bank statements that were 15 to 20 pages long. So if that gives you an idea of how much less my spending is now, it definitely gives me an idea. So I'm super proud of myself for having a three page bank statement. The amounts, this is why I prefaced this video with telling you my unique situation at this time because when you look at the numbers, it is just honestly astounding and a little crazy. So I wanted to make that very clear at the beginning of the video that these numbers are so high for those reasons. We are using this opportunity that we have been presented with to make all of this happen for us so that we can start doing other things later on. And I'll explain that too. So. Our main goal right now is to buy a second property that we also want to Airbnb. All of this stuff that I'm doing with my debt watch and paying things off and saving money all boils down to that. We want to start buying real estate and investing in properties to Airbnb. That's our goal. With that being said, I'm going to show you guys how I did this month. I ended up doing a few things here that are a little different. One of the big changes this month was my car insurance. And I think I had mentioned that I bought a new vehicle that is substantially cheaper than the vehicle that we had. And that was another way that we were saving money. But the insurance somehow went up significantly. It went from 141.28 to 
12. I could not fathom why I was paying $212 a month for my car insurance. So I actually moved my car insurance to Progressive. I switched over and I probably sound like the commercial right now, but I literally did save half, 50%. The car insurance that I had was $1,272 for six months. If I would have stuck with paying that 212, it would have ended up being $1,272. Progressive for six months was 646 for six months. So I literally am saving $626, that is half. This is all my cash envelope stuffing that I did for the month, what I put into savings, and all of my extra debt payments are over here. And I'm very happy with what I did and how I was able to save, pay off things, and put money into my cash envelopes. Very, very happy about all of this. So moving on to my goals for June, they are going to be a no spend challenge month. I'm going to challenge myself to not spend anything extra for 30 days in June, and I will be using this to get that done. I'm also going to be doing a 30 day challenge for my health. I have a 30 day detox system that I've used in the past. I loved it. And I think that it's time to do it again. It just makes me feel so much better. I have more energy. I sleep better. I just feel better overall. So I'm going to be challenging myself to do that. As I mentioned earlier, I will be paying off that Home Depot card. Uh, as far as the Sam's Club, what I had told you guys before about my Sam's Club spending, it's not terrible, but I can definitely do better. So what I'm going to be doing is figuring out ways probably from Pinterest or just Googling or whatever, some cheaper meals that are also still healthy, uh, which is a little bit of a challenge, I guess. I hate to use that word again, but it is a little bit of a challenge to do that, to have cheaper meals that are healthy, but I know I can do it. So I'm going to start doing that with my Sam's Club spending. And the other thing that I've decided is all of my savings challenge money, which is here, if I finish any of these challenges during the month of June, it's all going to go again to my number one debt. So that those are all of my goals for the month of June. So keep that positive money mindset for yourself and keep working on your budget binder and all of your expenses and debts and your savings challenges and your cash stuffings. It will all be worth it in the end. In the meantime, if you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button and be a subby. My sister April and I are always working on videos for budgeting, cash stuffing, savings challenges, all the fun stuff. So if you are not a subscriber yet, go ahead and do that and check out this next video that is about to come up and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.